We're here at the One to One Oil and Gas Conference in London with Jade Stone Energy. Can you give us a quick introduction to the company? Thanks, Rosie. Yes, I'm really pleased to be here at One to One, and um, congratulations on such a, uh, a well done conference. Jade Stone is a, is a company that was established two and a half years ago, really, from the senior management that came out of Talisman in Southeast Asia. We're a Singapore headquartered Southeast Asia and Australian focused production and development company. We've got around 14,000 barrels a day of oil production in Australia today and a, a significant gas project in southwest Vietnam as well as the license in, in South Sumatra which is a heritage talisman license we acquired from Repsol which we're in the process of, of uh, coming back into. So our assets are split at the moment between Australia, Vietnam and Indonesia um, and looking to do a lot more in Southeast Asia and Australia. So talk further about your projects and what's the core focus of the company? The core focus is really uh, production and development. Talisman was well known for its strong second phase operating capability and that's really what we bring uh, in Jade Stone. So we're looking to, to really continue that in Southeast Asia and Australia, taking assets really from oil majors and from NOCs that need help in the region or, or looking to, to divest what for them is, is marginal investments but for us through a lot of work, whether that's through uptime, through that, through cost reduction, um, through investment, through infill drilling, through commercial commercial work, and and, uh, and taking out costs in GNA, we can improve economics, um, increase production, push out the life of the asset. So that's what we're doing, um, and there's a lot more we can do. So we're excited about the future as well. Absolutely. So over the next 12 months, what will be sort of the key milestones you'd be looking to hit? So we've just acquired Montara. Our, um, our third producing asset in Australia, that, that more than triples the company's production. So we're very focused on working through the safety case with the Australian off offshore regulator Nopsema to get our safety case accepted um, and to embed those improvements I talked about, increase uptime, lower costs, increase production through infill drilling. Um, so we're excited about all of that in the next 12 months and then there's what more we can do through inorganic growth. It's a acquire and exploit strategy, it's not so much about um, the price we pay for an asset is what we can do when we have that asset through um, through those levers I talked about um, to exploit value and really unlock value for our shareholders. So what are the key messages you're trying to get across to people at one to one? Um, we're very pleased to now be listed in London. We achieved that listing on August 8th. Uh, really pleased with that outcome. Um, the next 12 months are exciting what we can do with Montara and, uh, and what we can do next through M&A and, and look forward to continuing to, to drive value for our shareholders here in London. So how have you found the one-to-one -one conference so far? Uh, it's been great, I'm really pleased so far. Looking forward to another full day of sessions today. Um, yeah, it's exceeded our expectations, so well done. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.